Welcome everybody to uh, the African session, uh, Law Flow session for World Fish Migration Day. Um, I'm Herman Wanningen, I'm the founder of the World Fish Migration Foundation and also uh, I started World Fish Migration Day in 2014, six years ago, because I thought that these fish need some attention. Uh, because this is these fish swim underwater and you don't see what's on happening underwater and I think that it's important that people know so that we can help these fish uh, on their on their way to their spawning grounds and uh, uh, and also for the people that depend on these fish and also eat from the fish. Uh, these are the organizations that are uh, uh, behind World Fish Migration Day uh, since the start, and there are, there are many more organizations uh, doing all kinds of activities around the world. I will show you uh, 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 in a couple of slides. Uh, let me see. Uh, we have Seb Hogan as an ambassador uh, for World Fish Migration Day and Seb Hogan is working for National Geographic and uh, he has a short video for you. Hi everyone, uh, Zeb Hogan here. I'm an assistant research professor at the University of Nevada, Reno and host of Nat Geo Wild's Monster Fish. I've traveled all around the world and in my travels, uh, everywhere I go, I've noticed that rivers and fish need our help. Uh, it's getting harder and harder to find rivers full of fish these days. But I'm proud to say that I see more and more people uh, all around the world working together to restore healthy, connected rivers. In the USA alone, over 1,500 dams and weirs have been removed in the last two decades. And on the East Coast, in rivers where dams have been removed, there are millions of river herring, and other stocks of fish that are migrating uh, up and down rivers every year. And that's what makes webinars like this so important. Uh, we can share these positive stories with our colleagues around the world and encourage them to take action. So let's all join together today to celebrate World Fish Migration Day, connecting the dots and making people proud. Yeah, so Sepp is an amazing ambassador and we have a couple of more uh, and this is like really important to have ambassadors that, that can help you with the outreach uh, of, of events, uh, of the, the message you have and our foundation, the World Fish Migration Foundation, uh, uh, yeah, is really proud to have these ambassadors on board and our mission is to save migratory fish in rivers around the world. And we cannot do that alone. We, we do that together with uh, other organizations uh, because this is something that needs to be done together. This is the team. I'm really proud to work with this team. They're a really dedicated and fun team to work with. Uh, creative, these are volunteers, these are uh, employees and uh, especially the volunteers. Uh, so it's so, so nice to see all these uh, enthusiastic people helping out uh, for World Fish Migration Day and our foundation activities. And this is our dream, uh, rivers full of fish. Uh, in Europe, we have forgotten uh, about rivers full of fish because we have built so many dams and, and weirs and obstacles uh, that we don't have this anymore. And in Africa, there are still places left where you have uh, rivers full of fish like the Congo River, for example. And this is a, an issue that uh, uh, is, a glo is global and it's from New Zealand to Hawaii. And, 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 and the nice thing about this and about World Fish Migration Day is that we can connect from local to global and, uh, and the other way around and that we can all do this together. And what we don't like to see is uh, fish banging them, their heads against walls. Uh, uh, this is an example from Finland, but this is happening all over the world. Uh, and, 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 and we don't like that and we wanna do something about this. And yeah, you need dams, you need uh, weirs and, 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 and sluices, but the problem it causes is that it drowns the river, it suffocates the river, and, uh, and that's a problem for, for fish, and a problem for the people that depend on these fish, on these migratory fish. And in Europe, we have an estimated number of 1 million barriers. And uh, in, in the USA, they have an, an estimate of 2 million barriers. So imagine all these barriers, what they do with the migration routes of fish. And this is happening. We, um, we collected information together with the Zoological Society of, of London and WWF and, and, and other organizations. And this is the... Uh, 
Living Planet Index for migratory fish, and it's decreasing 76 percent uh, from the 1970s on. So it's really going down with the abundance of migratory fish, and something needs to be done to turn the tide. And there are examples around the world uh, where people are investing uh, funding uh, to uh, to build fishways or to remove dams and remove barriers from rivers. And we want to showcase these projects and, and these, these projects are happening everywhere around the world. So it's really nice to connect all these projects with each other to show how you can solve problems. And one of these problems are, uh, uh, we are solving or we are trying to solve is the, the dams, the old dams, because there are a lot of old dams in Europe, 100,000 old obsolete dams. And we started a movement called Dam Removal Europe, and that brings together uh, these organizations and uh, as a coalition and we want to make dam removal a normal uh, measure for water managers and for practitioners and we want to help them and, and give them tools so we have a website uh, damremoval.eu you can find all kinds of dam removal projects from small to big ones and uh, just showing you the big ones here uh, on the left uh, a project in estonia there are six dams that are being removed over there and they will open up 3000 kilometers of free flowing rivers again this is the biggest river restoration project in in europe in france they have a dam of 35 meters high 200 meters wide they are removing it because it was old uh, can you Yes, thank you. Um, and uh, and now it's being removed. So that's really uh, uh, a super, super project to showcase. And what we want to do is to bring that all together in a global movement and celebrate these success stories on World Fish Migration Day every two years. And the happy fish is the global symbol for these open rivers, for these free flowing rivers. Happy fish for uh, people, happy fish for wildlife. And World Fish Migration Day is today, and it already started actually in May, uh, but due to, due to the COVID situation, we had to postpone it. So these 350 events happened from May until now in 71 countries, uh, 1,500 organizations involved. It's really super to see all these projects and all these, these uh, events happening. A couple of examples, uh, we have a kayak, we have kayak tours, uh, movie screenings, uh, webinars, uh, uh, kid learning hubs, uh, 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 research in Mexico being uh, uh, communicated, all kinds of events. And I'm really proud to see that in Africa there are so many events at this moment, uh, even more than before, I think. And this is a book that uh, just was released, uh, a, a children's book, uh, a story at the Mamor River. And you can download it, um, and it's in several languages. I think it's 10 languages. You can download it from our website, uh, worldfishmigrationday.com. Uh, so we are part with this webinar of a series of webinars. It started yesterday evening in New Zealand, and it's traveling around the world. <clears throat> and now we are in Africa. And after Africa, we're going to go to South America. We have a Eurovision Song, cost, song Contest, and then we have a North American uh, webinar to close the day. This is a, a map of the swimways of the world, and we are working together with the IUCN and the Com uh, Cambridge Conservation Initiative and, and other organizations to create the first global map of uh, uh, swimways around the world. And Kerry Brink is involved in this project, and uh, uh, we're going to launch uh, the results of the first project on the 12th of November uh, on, on a webinar. And you will find the details uh, in, in the chat box, I think. Then we, tonight, uh, it, I invite you to uh, listen to uh, the, the, the winners of, of not, not the winners, but the, the 10 that were selected for uh, the finals, because all, all songs that were uh, uploaded are amazing. And uh, we have 10 uh, uh, that went to the finals and we have a lot live broadcast starts at 8 p.m. <clears throat> Central European time. You can still register at uh, eurovision.com. Uh, and i hope to see you there and i want to thank all these sponsors and donors uh, for making this possible uh, for making the world fish migration day possible and 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 we can't do this without them um yeah that that was my presentation thank you
and good luck with World Fish Migration Day today. Thank you so much, Herman. That was a, that was a nice introduction to uh, World Fish Migration Day. Um, are there are there maybe any questions for uh, for for Herman? Questions? Okay. Um, we'll then uh, go directly and see what's happening on the ground. I'm really, I'm super excited to uh, to see what's happening. Uh, Patrick, are you around? Uh, will you be able to uh, to share your screen and um, and we can see you? We can maybe have a chat with you to see what's happening in Cameroon. Patrick. Yeah. Uh, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> can you see my screen? I can see your screen. Yes. Fish Migration Day. Okay, great. Yeah. So okay, uh, are you going to present something for us quickly? Yeah, okay. Okay. So uh, my name is Patrick Malum. I am the coordinator of African Network of Young Leaders for Peace and Sustainable Development. Uh, I would like first to start uh, presenting who is African Network of Young Leaders for Peace and Sustainable Development. Uh, we are a regional platform, a regional platform based on cultural, natural, and human resources. Uh, and we are working with 300 organizations across the Africa. So, uh, so uh, as part of the International Day of Fish Migration, we have been raising awareness on the importance of migratory fish population uh, through our various webinars uh, between the month of May and the month of September 2020. We have been undertaking uh, with some member of our organization uh, the proximity community awareness campaign in some countries like uh, Burkina Faso, Democratic Republic of Congo, Nigeria, that, uh, that awareness uh, was targeting young people, women, elders, uh, with the aim to give a public attention to the issue linked to the pollution that affects fishes. And then uh, we have been working on a software, a software called uh, Save My Fish. Uh, this software aims uh, to, to mainstream, to mainstream civil societies that belong to our network, uh, to champions again overfishing, the restoration of maritime ecosystem, and all the drivers that may encourage the negative fish migration. I would like to emphasize that um, that software has a lot of parts, including the lucrative part aims to uh, as well engage even the youth, even the children uh, on the fight against the negative migration. So we use uh, then this approach to, to connect with all uh, the CSO, all the CSOs that belong to our network across the Africa uh, to advocate properly uh, and to, and to uh, disseminate all the data we have on the question of fish migration. That's why we are we have been working on that software, and I think maybe by the by the end of this week, that software will be available. And then here are some images we have um, taken on the ground during our various consultations uh, in the frame of the, the implementation of that software. We had a discussion with uh, the power holders. We have the discussion with a lot of stakeholders. We have the discussion with, uh, with young civil society, uh, with farmers, with fishers. We had discussion with a lot of uh, everybody to have their view, their insight in order to customize properly our, uh, the software, save my fish we are about to design. Uh, so here are some images uh, we, have, uh, we have taken on the ground. So uh, I'm going to be very brief. So I'm going to conclude my PowerPoint by some recommendation. Because the question of fish migration is a new topic. We had find out uh, uh, that topic is new. So we call for all the power holders to empower civil society organization to, 
to digitalize all their effort in, in order to fight against the the issue that may the, the issue linked to the negative impact of fish migration. And we call as well uh, all the power order, the civil society to fight against water pollution in, uh, in our rivers, in our lakes here in Africa. So uh, thank you for your kind attention. Over to you. Thank you so much, Patrick. Uh, it's very exciting to hear that you have an app, Save, save My Fish, Save My Fish. Save my fish, yeah. And, and that's <laughs> for fish migration. As it, that's specifically for, for migratory fish, or is that for all fish? For migratory fish, first, um, but, uh, and even for all the fishes, because uh, we, um, uh, we have noticed that uh, uh, our rivers are in danger because uh, we have few policies that protect our rivers so that um, our fish are in danger. That's why we want to protect all our fish and to um, prevent them for, from the negative uh, migration. That's why we, uh, we are working to implement it. But uh, as I said, uh, our work is very customized because we go through the community across the Africa to personalize uh, that uh, uh, software according to the realities, according to the available policies, according to their behavior. So we customize it and we, we have developed a lucrative aspect in order to mainstream as well the children, the children to understand, to, to understand that issue and to better advocate for, uh, for the protection of our, uh, of our fishes. Fantastic, thank you so much, Patrick. Please put a link uh, to your app in our chat box so everybody can go and have a look and see uh, see what this app is all about. Okay. Thank you all so right. much. So uh, let us uh, let us go to, uh, to from from Cameroon to Uganda. Uh, is Juliet around? Juliet. Hmm. Can anybody hear me? Am I, is everything still good? Yeah, she was around, but she seems to have disappeared. Okay. While we, uh, while we get a hold of Juliet, um, shall we uh, see if, um, if somebody else, if we can uh, chat with somebody else in the meantime? Um, I see Rebecca from South Korea is here. Perhaps maybe you can um, you can chat to us a little bit about dam removal in South Korea while we wait for Juliet. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Can you see me yes. also? No, no, no. Uh, let me Wait try a minute. See. Okay. Uh, start video. Yes. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can see, see you. Yes. yes. Hi. Yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me, Carrie. Um, it's, it's such an honor to be a part of the uh, African session because I'm an Asian and uh, in, uh, in Northeast Asia, South Korea, we have a huge problem since we got this, you know, four rivers project that was done by the Lee Myung government, previous, previous government. Uh, I'd like to share with you all uh, three um, three uh, really important circumstances uh, going on right now mm -hmm. uh, concerning the um, uh, struggle against this uh, Four Rivers project. Uh, since the uh, new government and the president Moon Jae-in was in, uh, in 2017, one of his promises was to renaturalize the rivers, the major four rivers that was destroyed by the previous, previous government. And uh, since, uh, since the winter 2017, he had uh, formed 
he had uh, uh, the uh, inspection team formed under the Ministry of Environment, and they had this, you know, monitoring and assessing the uh, the exact impact of the um, uh, what was happening on the uh, riverside, and uh, they decided to. Um, uh, get rid of a pool, uh, three uh, dams, and had an all-time opening of the floodgate of the two dams in Kum River and Yongsan River. And their decision was went up to the uh, watershed, the regional management committee. And one of the recent decision made by that committee was go on with the three removals and two all-time uh, gate opening. And that decision will go up to the national committee of the ma water management. And soon we are expecting they will, uh, you know, they will, they will go with their approval of this decision. So it's a good news. And secondly, we had uh, a few, uh, we had uh, some time of uh, experiment with the um, opening of the, um, Estuary banks in Nakdong River and Han River. The, the what? Very, the estuary banks. Estuary banks. We have oh, the banks. Um, the banks. Yeah, banks. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Nakdong River and Han River. In one of the great news, uh, recently we had this return of the salmon. Salmon in thirty years. That was very wow. good news. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so in thirty uh, years, you had you had you didn't years, see yes, you didn't see any years. salmon, and after they removed it, there's now salmon. Yes, some time of after right. some time of the uh, opening of the estuary banks, we now have these uh, salmon returning from okay. Bering, you know, Alaska from Alaska across the Bering Sea. So it was a, a really great news. Okay. And lastly, lastly, the government is also uh, proceeded with, will proceed with um, uh, kind of, um, you know, getting removed, getting uh, the, the removal with uh, small structures in agricultural areas. So next year, uh, we're going to have a budget of about 13 billion won for removal of those small uh, structures in the wetlands and rivers in the agricultural areas. And that's also a good news. Oh, fantastic. And who, is, who has been driving all of this, uh, this, this work, this dam removal, your, your organization? Dam removal. Well, I'm helping the uh, Korean Federation for Environmental Movement. That's a well, Korean chapter of the uh, uh, Friends of the Earth. That's a, one of the biggest uh, or, uh, civil organization for environmental movement and Jenny Shin, the presenter yeah. of the Selin River, uh, you know, conference. Yeah, I was her uh, interpreter, and we are we are both working with uh, this KFEM and KFEM is is one one part of a broader network under which you know uh, more than. 60, 60 civil society organization or all, all put all together for a struggle to renaturalize and broadly for you know environmental movement in Korea. Mm -hmm. And now Fantastic. we have a very favorable time for us because we, we are now have a new government, you know, Bunjen government. Uh, this government is more cooperative with us and we're willing to renaturalize. Fantastic. And if yes. you, uh, in closing, if you have one uh, a bit of advice uh, for anybody that thinks, you know, they would like to start a, a restoration in their regions, uh, what, what would that one little bit of, of advice be? Well, I think we should be advised. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in position of giving any advice to, to any people on the earth, I'm afraid, but if you say so, uh, vote well, vote well. That's that's okay. really what I like to like to say. <laughs> we have to have a good government. Okay. First. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much you. for that. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so Keep much. well. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay.
So now that was uh, was great to hear from Rebecca and to hear what they are doing there in uh, South Korea. Uh, let's try and come back to Africa and uh, see who's available. Um, Juliet is uh, I I can't find Juliet. Um, unfortunately, she's uh, she's she's not around. Um, let me have a look who is uh, in our panelist section, who will be able to chat with us a little bit more. Um, shall we go to Wani from Nigeria? Wani, are you there? Yes, I am. Hi, Wani. Hi. Wonderful that you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to share your screen so we can see you? Okay. Okay. So um, I, I think there's a little bit of a delay. Um, I, ca I, can't, I can't see your, your video. But um, perhaps um, you you had an event yesterday that that I actually was uh, was part of. But um, it would be nice uh, if if you could uh, if you could maybe uh, tell everybody how that went and 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 what you see for the next steps uh, from from that from those discussions from your webinar from yesterday. Okay. Um... Of course, thank you again, Kerry. It was interesting. All the speakers uh, from the professor at the University of Port Harcourt, Professor Ade Shokwe, and um, Dr. Leifer from the University of Ibadan. Um, we also had a speaker from the US, a project management tool that talks about um, helping young businesses grow, because basically the reason I invited Mark, uh, Stu McGowan is to open up uh, some things that most people, especially in Nigeria, don't embrace wholeheartedly, utilizing cooperatives to grow their businesses. Um, recently, I and my team have been working on a documentary and I don't know if I could share my screen, I would like to play a video that will be fantastic. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Can you see? No, the video so was was not clear. Uh, we we see so your your um, your documents, but we don't see the video. I think it's already playing here. I'm just gonna try again. Yeah, we see that you're clicking on on one of the videos in the in the documents, um, but then we don't actually see the the screen. We don't see that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So, um, the fish yes. Are actually in this area. They don't want to talk to us. They don't want to tell us the barriers that we. They don't want to tell us uh, what what their problems are when it comes to fishing. Okay, we're trying to help out here, but they're not, they're not interested in the help we, we want to render. They want us to give them money. They've been demanding for Oh, some, the, the, some the sound is not great, and there's a little bit of a lag. Unfortunately, I think that the, the internet's a bit, um, is, is not, is not so strong. Yeah, that's a pity. Okay. So I was just trying to show that 
plastic pollution is one problem we face here in addition to um, oil spill and you know solid waste material, other solid materials. This is a major problem. But even when you try to reach out to the people and try to help them, it is a problem, you know? So we don't even know where to, you know, start. It's, it's a tough one, but we'll keep pushing and see how we can get onto discovering barriers wrecked in the water. But in that particular location, they confirm that they don't experience um, barriers as dams but then plastic pollution is a major problem. And like I told you yesterday, there was an incident that um, a particular event where we had only one fish species, um, you know, on the shoreline found mm -hmm. dead, you know, that broken yeah. marriage I told you about. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we don't really know until date what would have caused that particular problem. Mm -hmm. There are still investigations. Yeah, most of our fish stock have gone into um, are depleting, and some have gone into extinction. Because when I was little, we had more varieties, but right now, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a topic that a, a person can 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 talk about for uh, for a whole conference uh, to come mm -hmm. up with uh, with with solutions and and how to deal with this pollution. Um, if uh, I previously you um, uh, yesterday you had a, a had a video with the with it, there was a, a music video that uh, that mm -hmm. I seen that you had. Um, we we won't have time to show it now. But uh, could you, could you have it ready if there's a if there's a, a moment uh, where we can where we can play it? Sure, that would be really great uh, to to show that music video. Um, okay, um, I would suggest I'll just send you the YouTube link. Yes, so you can play from your end because it Perfect. seems my network here is not very strong. Okay, okay, if we do that, and okay. uh, we'll go to uh, we'll see who else uh, is is online. And uh, who else we can who, who else we can connect with? Thanks so much, Wani. Thanks a lot. Yes, I want to say something. Huh, there's uh, there's somebody that wants to say something <laughs> from Benin. We have somebody from Benin. Yes. Uh, we don't hear you very well. Could you could you put your mic uh, closer or or the sound up or something that we can that we can hear? Yes, I think that uh, you, you hear me now. Um, well, uh, very softly. Can, it, can you try another setting or something? Yes. Is it okay now? Uh, we have to all listen very closely. <laughs> ah, okay, 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 okay. Can I, can I talk in French or in English? My English uh, is not very if you If you speak in French, then you can only say, less words because then we need a translator to to tell us what you what you've said so okay, you can okay. Okay. depends what you prefer okay okay i will, I will try uh, quickly in english we are celebrating uh, the migratory species uh, uh, day here in benin i am in a with the group of uh, journalists okay. from uh, a benin local uh, media and uh, we just uh, show one video about uh, the situation of uh, migratory uh, fishes in our country. And the last uh, year, our government started uh, to work on, on the lake because of many, many fishermen use uh, techniques who are not uh, very good for fish. They use uh, many techniques to catch fish they destroy the lake, destroy different uh, species of uh, fish, and now is uh, a big challenge for our government to work on this. And uh, we call some journalists from Cotonou, and uh, we are talking about that. We have a five-minute video. We show them, and uh, if you have, uh, if the technique uh, will help, I will. 
you can share my screen and I show you for three, five minutes, uh, some uh, techniques that people use here for, for fishing. And we have uh, a relation between the lake and uh, the, uh, what we call the marine area. We are on the coast. Okay. Now, yeah. the fish who has to go to the lake for reproduction are catching with uh, a mosquito nets. They mm -hmm. use mosquito net to catch fish. And uh, we think that is a big challenge uh, and uh, we are trying to sensitize uh, local communities, but to sensitize journalists to help uh, to stop uh, this technique. So how, how are you planning to stop or how are you trying to stop these, these techniques? Uh, what we are going to do, we have a new regulation, a new law in Benin about uh, uh, fishing and uh, aquaculture. Mm -hmm. And uh, our activity like uh, NGOs, as we are working in the wetlands, we work uh, with uh, the local communities to talk about uh, that law. And uh, we have a plan for enforcement of the law because it's not common in our area. People, uh, many discussions are politic and uh, sometimes uh, the enforcement of the law is very difficult. But we try our best to help people to know the law and uh, follow the law. If they don't want to follow the law, we, we have a group helping government to enforce the law. Okay. And what we are, we, are doing, we are trying to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think um, to show the video, I think that we, we, we run out of time. Um, yeah. will, do you have a YouTube link that you could, that you could link that you could share in the chat box and then we could we could share it with everybody no uh, tomorrow perhaps I, I will put it on youtube it's not uh, yet on youtube tomorrow okay. I, I i can put it on youtube and send the link uh, to you okay and please send us also um also the 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 news broadcast that you've had uh, with the journalist we would love to see those newspaper articles the the um yeah your interviews with uh, with journalists on the tv and let us okay. know how 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 big your reach was it would be really okay, great to okay. see no problem okay. we, thank we're you doing. Thank, thank you, you very much. thank you so much jose josea <laughs> yes, keep well Felicitations. Uh, one second i show you the person in the room here are okay some of them Okay. You see them? Yes, we see them. We see them. Oh, okay. There's there's a group. <laughs> hi, hi everybody. Hi everybody. Thank you. <laughs> you are doing a great job. Oh, fantastic! Congratulations. Fantastic. Yes, congratulations to you. Also, we are we are in a museum. We have a small museum, and uh, today is a free day for people to come to visit uh, the museum. Downstairs, we have uh, some uh, schools, children come to, to the, our museum to, uh, to see some fish in aquarium. Fantastic. See some, uh, uh, the stuff of some uh, uh, wetland uh, animal like uh, sea turtle and uh, manatee. We have uh, them as staff animal and we show them uh, to educate the people. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, congratulations, wonderful. Yeah, send us the pictures, we wanna see. Thank you very much. Bye guys, bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Herman? Bye. Yeah, I just said bye bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's really cool, cool all these um, events happening. Yeah, 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 it's really exciting to see. So um, uh, we have, uh, Jeremy from South Africa. And he will tell us about his, uh, his, his uh, relocation uh, project and, uh, and what they are doing today. Jeremy? Hey, Kerry, how's it going? Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, very good. How are you? You look all <laughs> flushed from from. Are you? How are you relocating these species? But <laughs> but first, uh, let's tell everybody what you're doing. 
Yeah, well, uh, I want to find out more about what you guys are doing, but unfortunately, I can't follow all the events today. But yeah, just just to echo the previous the uh, the previous conversation, you know, like well done on making this happen and connecting all these people who are trying to uh, you know promote <laughs> free flowing rivers. It's just the coolest event that I've ever seen. And yeah, <laughs> thanks for making some time for me to <laughs> to ramble a bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, it's like pretty hot <laughs> in South <laughs> Africa at the moment. <laughs> yeah, um, so we are um, out probably about like a few hundred kilometers north of Cape Town in a wilderness area. And yeah, we're, we're working on a, a threatened species called the Clan William sandfish. And interestingly, you know, this... I. I I've learned recently that it's actually in this part of the world, it's it's really the only fish that we have that undertakes like uh, like long migrations to, to do their spawning. So, I mean, not like salmon, <laughs> but maybe five, 10, 15, 20 kilometers, um, you know, up into, up into certain parts of rivers to spawn. And so because of that, you know, they're both, uh, you know, very vulnerable to, um, to all sorts of threats, but also, you know, potentially fantastic ambassadors for these, for, for connectivity in freshwater ecosystems. So that's why we're uh, focusing on the sandfish. <laughs> fantastic. And, um, and, and in terms of your relocation today, you, you caught, mm. you caught a few? Yeah, we did. So we've been, we've been uh, basically following the progress of the of the little sandfish that that hatched a few months ago and okay. trying to keep track of where they are how many there are and, and how, and how are growing. you how are you doing that how are you keeping track of these these little fish we're trying our best to spend as much time as possible there's no substitute for being um on the river and uh, using snorkeling or you know the the water the water in the river is very clear, so we can often just use polarized sunglasses to to see okay. where they are where okay. they're hanging out. Yeah. Okay. So you and actually carry, go uh, there and look and see where they are. Totally. Okay. Yes, but okay. it's a, it's a long stretch. You know, fifteen kilometers of river in pretty hot, dry, arid environment. So there's a lot of ground to cover to to find them, basically. So the challenges are finding them, and then once you find them, is to try and to try and collect them and then to to relocate them like you mentioned and um today was really the first day of that we're going to be out here for the next two weeks uh mm -hmm. working towards rescuing and relocating these little sandfish and today was was the first day and we yeah caught our first few little little sandfish which was pretty cool fantastic mm -hmm. and you you mentioned something that this was this you think is one of the biggest relocation projects in in africa Yes, yeah. So I've been looking at the literature a little bit recently, and there have been a few uh, freshwater fish relocations. Um, there was one that was done in Lesotho uh, about 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, um, where fish were actually relo uh, relocated on uh, using motorbikes to safe areas um, in anticipation of uh, some, some, uh, some threats that were kind of associated with a, a big water uh, transfer project transfer mm -hmm. scheme up there and so that's one of the others and there's been a few but uh, our, our project's quite ambitious and that we're aiming to rescue uh, 5,000 of these little sandfish um, over the next few weeks so so far my literature search has, has shown that yeah nothing of the scale has yet been <laughs> attempted or achieved in this part of the world so we'll see how well we do that's our target you know we'll have to just see <laughs> great and and how big is your team that's that is working on this <laughs> fluctuating Kerry, because <laughs> like yeah people it's it's the hard thing is getting away from the city and spending the amount of time um you know um on the river that's needed to to collect data um, and to actually get, do conservation. And, you know, uh, we will probably have a total of, I'd imagine, over these two weeks, maybe about 20, 25 people, but there'll be people coming and going. At the moment, we've got a, it's, it's really cool. Uh, my partner's a school teacher at a school in Cape Town, and, she, and she's brought out a group of her students, um, grade 11s. Are they grade 11s? Yeah, grade 11s, and they, they're helping us for the first few days. And, yeah, then we have... Um, it's 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 actually really great. We've got 
a, a, a really nice mixed team. So some people that are, you know, employed at local conservation agencies, and then we've also got uh, landowners from um, that are work that are that are living and working in the valley that are helping out, and we've also got um, students, you know, that are that are coming to help out, and and some volunteers. It's it's amazing, and I think that's it's all of it's what's 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 incredible is bringing people together to, uh, you know, hopefully achieve something positive for the yeah. river and the fish, like together. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. I, if if I could, I, I would also join you uh, as a volunteer. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to have you here. Maybe next year, Carrie. It's not that yeah. far. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Definitely. I know you like South Africa. <laughs> of course, close to yeah. my heart. <laughs> I'm I'm cool. I'm born South African, and okay. uh, yeah. So uh, so it it's it's always uh, it's always here. Yeah. Well. Thank cool. Well. Thanks Thank for you. thanks for thanks for having me on and thanks for all the great work you're doing and yeah good luck for the for the for the rest of the events today. Yes, you too. Thanks so much. Okay. Keep cool. well. Cheerio. Bye bye. 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 Okay, that was great. And um, I see that we have uh, Chris Bowser from uh, the USA, who uh, he is also uh, uh, working uh, working with fish and volunteers. Uh, Chris, are you available to, to have a quick chat with us? Sure, I'm right here, actually. Um, it looks like the host needs to allow my video to go back on. Okay. But, uh, I can also just keep talking. Uh, All right. We would we like go. to see you. Oh, there we go. We see a nice big eel in the back. Great. Yes. Hello, <laughs> everybody on this Africa call. Hello. <laughs> Bonjour. Salam alaikum. <laughs> It's wonderful. So born, I like it. <laughs> it's wonderful to see so many people on this call. Um, and uh, just a, a few things that I'll mention. Uh, I, I'm actually here on the banks of the Hudson River in New York State in the USA. Uh, and I'm really happy to be here talking to you about eels today. I run a community science project that involves many, many young people and volunteers in catching, counting, and releasing juvenile American eels, like this wonderful eel behind me and these eels on my coffee mug here. Um, it's wonderful to bring this secretive, interesting species that has this wonderful migration to bring that alive for so many people. And uh, a few years ago, I was very, very fortunate in 2018 to spend some time in South Africa with two great researchers, Celine Hansen and Jennifer Mele, uh, who introduced me to this American eel's cousin, the, uh, uh, the modeled eel of South Africa. And we were in the Ngani River in Durban and they put their rivers in, they put their nets in and lo and behold, uh, there were beautiful uh, uh, giant mottled eels, Anguilla marmorata in there. And I was so impressed. One of the amazing things about migratory fish is that A, they connect all of us together. We're all connected by these waters and we talk about interconnectedness of ecosystems, but migratory fish live those interconnectedness. And seeing eels on the Ingeni River that that have kinship with the eels in the Hudson River was really profound for me. And to see all of these people working on all these different species around the world is really, really impressive. I can see, I can see my, my buddy Gordon O'Brien is on the call who can probably talk a lot more about the great work that they're doing in South Africa. Uh, Gordon, did you wanna say a word or two? No, maybe not. Let me also use this opportunity while we're getting Gordon on to let everybody know that in Hi. just a few hours, we're going to have an amazing event coming up called the Eurofishing Contest. In addition to all the great science going on with World Fish Migration Day, there is also great celebration and expression through song and music and videos. And at, um, oh, let's say, let's call it, I think at uh, 8 p.m. South Africa time 
or 7 p.m. Nigeria time, um, we're going to have the Euro Fishing Contest. It's totally free. Get on and register, and you can see the top tier of music videos that were selected, <laughs> including entries from Kenya and South Africa that will both inspire you and warm your heart seeing so many people involved in fisheries. That's the Euro Fishing Contest today. Uh, again, get online, register, and you can check it out at 8 p.m. if you're in South Africa or at 7 p.m. if you're in Nigeria or Morocco. And look, Herman Wanigan has something he wants to say. <laughs> Do you want to hear a song? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Okay. Here we go. Uh, this is one is from Kenya. Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rivers can't take it no more. No, Reason no. being in a chalk from all the plastic and waste material being disposed. Take a trip down Nairobi River. I promise there's nothing to smile nothing about. To smile all you see is bumpers and condoms floating around. Blocking the flow of water. Fish in a shindwa tuli. Fanya nini to deserve this. Tourists gonna die. There's really nothing to see here. We are careless to the careless for the rivers that came up for us. Give us water plus. It's a natural resource to chunge our resources. The source is God. He put us in charge. So let us take charge. Let us take charge. If we have clean rivers, then to corner clean lakes. Oh. When we have clean lakes, then we have more fish. Oh. Then to corner more food. Feeding up the nation, everything is all good. Now, Mika Larry Dwayne, I will play my part. Easy river to heal this cause. Kawangari Matai, I will die for this. Big up to kill, I'm saying, and I chase a yeah, yeah. Making sure innovations don't destroy our earth. Now, this land's going green, Mazikira, yet to hire ya wasafi. Aye, ya wasafi, yeah. Cold. Stop turning our forest into dumping sites. It's a bad sight to lie in a fat tuna act side. Otherwise, you check a kuwa messed up. Just imagine to work on Uliza. What's a river? Uta jibu, Uta mambi anini. Aki Uliza left Victoria. Ilifani kanini. Oh, lie. It's crazy. We really need to change this. We really need to change this now. I say we really need to change this now. Hey, Haman! Great, great, great song, Haman. Let me say some. Let me say something yes. about the song because I'm sure there are lots of people who don't understand what the guy is saying. They're like, "What?" <laughs> and they're busy enjoying the video only. <laughs> so, what he's trying to say in in a nutshell is. Um, if you don't patch up the direct translation, this is direct translation. If you don't patch up a small hole on a wall, then the wall is going to tumble down and you have to rebuild it from the ground up. 
So what he's essentially saying is we need to take care of a problem immediately it begins. Like don't 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 wait for it to grow into a huge problem. Then you want to take care of it because it may be too late, you know? Yes, so I, that's what he's talking about in relation to pollution. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Ruth. So, uh, so we have we have two other uh, people that would like to to say a few words before the session. Uh, Herman, is that okay if we if we steal some of your time? Because I, uh, I steal steal it. Go ahead. Great. Um, so, Conservation International uh, would like to say a few words. Mike, are you there? Thank you very much, Kerry. Uh, mm. As you can see, we, your video. Can you hear me? Uh, I yes, think, I'm here. Can you hear me? I think your 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 internet connection is not great. So perhaps maybe we'll keep your video off. Unmuted. Anyone can. Okay. Can Are you there? Um, try again. Mike? Anyone? Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Aaron? Oh, no. I think uh, I think the internet connection is too bad. Um, Mike, try and move to a place uh, with the internet connection a little bit better. We'll come back to you. Um, I would like to uh, to go to Gabon, to Marie Claire. And then, uh, and then we'll chat to you afterwards, okay? Hello, everyone. Hello, Elvis. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? So happy to see you guys. Uh, unfortunately, Marie Claire, she's already, she, she, she can't make it. She's okay. already in the water okay. with the government representative, with uh, other local NGOs and paddling and collecting uh, stuff from the river, so they're enjoying it. Um, and and where she is right now, it's in a very remote area, so she can't get access to, okay. to the network right now. But but myself, I'm just coming from helping the team to get on the boat and starting the journey. Okay. We, you can see look, my T-shirt here. Ah, oh, I love it. Events. Yeah, great. Well, the this hat. migration day, how oh, perfect. <laughs> Woo! And we, we, yeah. we, we already started the, the, the descent. We got even more people involved that, than we expected. And uh, we got the local guard, like the national parks. And wow. it was just, just even at the market where we, where we, we, we park and people asking questions and, 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 and then getting like this positive vibe, like, yeah, it's very important, but this is something we don't, this don't look often. And we sometimes we don't even understand what is the importance of such places. Because the, the main aim is actually to clear the forest mangrove because it's polluted with plastics. And we're just trying to, the, the, the take home message is to just tell those people that this, this type of vegetation is also good as a breeding ground for, for, for fishes. And if you don't take care of it, it will take care of, of us <laughs> in the long, medium and long term. And it will be very, in, a very, in a very bad way. So we reach now to be cautious because we enter the area of sustainable development and we really have to make pay attention because if we take care of the nature, nature will take also back to take care of us also back to us. So this is basically the, the message from Gabon and greeting to everyone. Bonjour, bonjour à tout le monde, à toute l'équipe. Thank you very much for this day. I have to go back for the other to the other side of the river to wait for my team there. That was the message of Gabon. Merci Fantastic. beaucoup. Fantastic. Please send us pictures, send us pictures, send us news. We want to hear it all. <laughs> we will, we will. <laughs> Have fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> okay. So um, we'll try one more time uh, to get hold of Conservation International, Mike. And um, if, we, yeah, if we don't manage, then we'll close up. Mike, are you there? You got to unmute me. Mike? Uh, we heard you. We heard you say you got to unmute me. We can hear you. 
if you talk, we can hear you. Hey, there we go. It's like a Eurovision song. <laughs> Mike, 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 maybe you can make a recording for us and then we will send it out like a message from you. Maybe if you can do it like a little video for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm right here with the scouts from Cognitive. Yeah. No, doesn't work, I think. No. Can you unmute Taryn? Uh, Taryn. Taryn. E. Wilson is her name, if you can unmute oh, her. Wilson. Oh, she has Wilson there. Yes. Can you, can you hear okay. me now? I, I found okay. into a tree. Uh, it's, it's still quite patchy. Uh, let's, try, let's try connecting with Taryn. Okay. Taryn, are you there? Hi, Kerry. Yes, hello. Hi, sorry, I was just booted out and now I'm back in. Okay, okay, we can hear you much better than Mike. Welcome. Okay. Great, thanks very much. Um, so let me just give you a little bit of a background. We, um, sorry, I'm just trying to, I'm gonna share my screen with you and play you a little video that we have, um, that they recorded this morning. <laughs> so our scouts are at three different sites at um, the, the rivers in the <clears throat> Greater Limpopo Transfrontier Conservation Area. And in South Africa. Um, they recorded this little, in, yes, in South Africa, um, near the Kruger National Park. And I'm going to share the little video with you that they recorded this morning. Great. Can you see it? Mm, nope. Okay, let me. Okay, can you see now? Mm, it's starting, yes. Okay, starting up. I guess the internet's not great there in uh, at the Kruger Park. Okay. Okay, it's sharing. I think you need to press play or something now, Taryn. Uh, I did. Sorry, it obviously didn't. Um, it didn't. It didn't share properly. Sorry, the internet's obviously really not great. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, what we can do is we can just put something together and then share with you afterwards. That could be fantastic. Yeah. Please send right. it. We can send. We can play. We can play it throughout the day and on our Facebook. So yeah, send send what yeah. you have. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Kerry. Okay. Keep well. Enjoy your events. It's 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 it, it can't be wrong if you're in the Kruger National Park uh, with scouts. I think it must be amazing there. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Okay, Herman, do you want to close up for us? Oh sure. Um, I just got a picture. I don't know if you can see the picture from. Mm, no, we can't see. It's a pretty it's a photo from. Did you get the link? Um, yeah, should I close off? Yeah, please, Haran, please go yeah. ahead. Um, uh, I just got a picture from uh, Turkey. They have a group of people standing uh, in the form and the shape of a happy fish uh, from above with a drone. It really looks nice. I think uh, I'm gonna thank you all for uh, attending. And uh, this is a truly a special day for us and for a lot of people around the world. I think this is the first time ever that we're doing this like uh, really digital events and webinars. And actually, I think we can conclude 
that, uh, that this really works well and uh, uh, these webinars. And I hope to be outside next World Fish Migration Day, but surely we will do a lot of new webinars in the future and uh, when we host another World Fish Migration Day. And I think I better end with another song from South Africa, which is also one of the 10 finalists for tonight. Um, it's a song from a, 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 a group with a group of children. How do you call it? Chore? A chore, uh, Carrie? How do you call it? A choir, a choir. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Um, let's share. And then I'm going to say goodbye. Carrie, can you make me uh, can you make me a presenter? Mm. Uh, oh, the, the sharing screening, the share screening. Yeah. yeah. Um, does that work? Yeah. So thank you all. I will end with this uh, video. And then uh, uh, hopefully see you tonight again uh, at uh, Eurovision. Here we go. And goodbye. Thanks, Herman. Bye bye. Great, thank you. Wonderful job, Carrie. You did so well. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> There's so much great stories to to hear, and and yeah, and people are doing such amazing things and, and making our job easy. So it's it's really great. Yeah. I, I previously we haven't done this, but now this is a new uh, a new normal for World Fish Migration Day. I think. Uh, it's so great connecting with everybody. Amazing. Super. So, Super. see you later. Bye. Gonna yeah, go you're official. Here we come. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. Bye-bye.